Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. One of you lovely viewers suggested that maybe I would be better if I had a face mill for the milling machine. Now me, being a poor engineer, I couldn't afford an expensive one, so I have bought the cheapest one I could find on eBay. Yes, it was less than £20. So let's see what we've got. Here we are, I've already opened the box because I'm a nosy bugger. And we've got ourselves a uh, Torx key. We have ourselves a box. And we have something in a plastic bag. So what have we got? Well, this is the cutter itself. For, for uh, cutting tools. Seems quite sharp, quite nice finish. It's like a, a sandblasted finish. It's quite weighty, it's got quite a weight to it. So I assume this is gonna be the holder. Yep. Obviously I've got an R8 one for the bridge port. Reasonable looking quality. I don't know if that's a bit of rust in there actually. Whatever it is, it's wiped off. Again, nice and weighty. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try the fitness here. Cracky. That's a nice fit, that. That's a bit, I don't know if that's a normal amount of slop. But it's a nice, nice fit on the, uh, on the shaft. You've got to get it perfect to get it on. Right, we'll get uh, this piece set up in the milling machine and then we'll uh, put the DTI on there and see what figures we come out with. And then we'll put the cutter on. Right, so I've got the DTI set up on the smaller shaft where the cutter goes. And I'll just spin the top and we'll uh, see how far out she is. Let's see how far she is out. Ooh. Two thou. Right, so on this one it's two thou out. Let's see what it's like on this top one. I'm about to go right near the top because of these, these here. I'm going to get it where, so we'll see how far this is out. It's the same, about two thou. Yeah, that's not bad. Right, I'll put the cutter on and then we'll see how far the cutter's out. Right, so again I've got the DTI set up and I've got it on this top, top ring here. Uh, I've got it for the bottom, because obviously we've got these notches, so... We'll spin it round and see how far that is out now it's fitted. Two. Just over two thou. So I don't think that's too bad. For what it's going to be doing. But only time will tell when we start cutting. Right, so I'm just going to take a little light cut, see what we get. Wow! Wow, that's so that's really smooth. As you can see, that's just a a saw cut. That there, but well, that is that's really smooth. Right, let's uh, 
and take a bit more off. See what happens. I'm really impressed with that. Wind it up. Hopefully you can see this. That is super smooth. We've got no damage to the tips. That is superb. That is really smooth. I'm so I'm really impressed with that. Bit of a nasty bird there, but wow! Hopefully, it's going to show this on the camera because every time I do this, it never ever does it because I'm always too close. But there's nothing wrong with that at all. Really nice. So there we go. A cheap face mill off eBay. First of all, I did a 0.25 mil cut skim, produced a nice finish, and then I took one mil off. So I've taken 1.25 mil off this piece of steel, and I'm absolutely blown away by that finish. It's amazing. And I did it all by I did it by hand, and I had the speed on. I'm quite sure it's at 920 RPM, so quite high for. I think it was £19 on eBay. I'll put the link in the description. R8 50mm face mill. I'm quite I'm quite impressed with it. I'm only time will tell. It's actually been bought to do some brass. I've not actually bought it to do steel work. It's actually for, for the business. So it's actually doing a business job. I think we'll buy some better tips for it and that could improve the finish even more but that finish was it's amazing i'll put some pictures of the cut on the social media they've probably been put up already so I'll keep your eye out for that all right i'm going to set up for doing my brass and i'll put some footage at the end again if you do like what you see on the channel please do click the like button and that will help these videos spread a bit further and if you've not already click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video so with that Get yourself to eBay and buy a 20 quid face mill because there's no wrong with it, especially for us hobbyists. Laters.